This preview is a sample from the full tutorial which lasts for about an hour. So it's a sample of the questions that we're going to look at in the tutorial and it's also a sample from the content. So the screen will intermittently go dark as we jump from one sample to the next. Syncope, blackouts and falls. And the three areas in the curriculum that relate to this are Common Acute Presentations 5, 13 and 32. But let's start off as we usually do by looking at some questions. Question 1. A 38-year-old female bus driver has attended the emergency department. She says that she's oxygen saturations on air at 96% and her ECG is shown below. And pause here and take a few minutes to look at this ECG carefully. This is what the curriculum says we need to know about syncope. We need to know the definition and the common causes of syncope and presyncope. We'll say a little bit more about presyncope, but basically it's the same phenomenon, but where consciousness is not lost totally. It's just heading towards that, but not totally lost. Outline the pathophysiology of syncope under 24 hours also. But if you haven't got a red flag, you're then going to go ahead and think about the three Ps. Are the three Ps present? Yes, then that's vasovagal syncope. No, you're then going to think about situational syncope, micturition. So what do the guidelines say? These are the relevant elements of the guidelines. So what this refers to as specialist cardiovascular assessment. And it says based on this, the specialist needs to think of this suspected structural heart disease or suspected cardiac arrhythmia. With temporary systems, there's usually only one wire. It's often put in through the internal jugular, usually on the right-hand side. It can be put in through the subclavian or the femoral, but the internal jugular is the preferred, and it comes down in the superior vena cava, and from there it then crosses the right atrium through the tri tricuspid valve, and then by twisting the wire, it's brought to end up in the tip of the right ventricle. There's a single wire that just stimulates the right ventricle going to have a, a blackout if there's long enough for them to stop the car and pull over then that's much safer than if they don't get any sort of warning and of course posture is also important if it only happens when they're standing up well it's less likely to be an issue when they're driving and so then it goes through a set of guidance so let's go back now and look at the questions that we set at the beginning of this tutorial and look at some possible answers that you could put so the first one is this 38 year old female bus driver who was out with her dog in the park and to her QRS complexes. Here we've got a P wave, then a gap. P wave, QRS, P wave, QRS, P wave. That ends this preview. If you would like to see the whole tutorial, details of how to access this and to add it to your account are available on the website. target sign that we can see here with the intersusception within the outer sleeve of intestine of bowel. So that's um, classical appearance on ultrasound. 